you doing on this beautiful hump day? <laughs> way to go, DQ. Way to go. We started off so perfect, and then it so kind of just went bad. So insane. It went bad. Anyways, guys, how's everybody doing on this beautiful Wednesday morning? Doing great. Doing, doing great. great. How are you doing? I'm doing just fine. A little sore from the workout yesterday, you know, but... I know. My body's like... Yeah. We needed a break today, so we have a little rest day going on, so... For sure. The, we'll not, taking our, not taking our eating off, though. We're no. staying on the eating. Eating is 90% of your diet, I guess you could say, or your overall fitness. We found some uh, meat dealerships, or not dealerships, uh, meat markets. Mm -hmm. uh, the one we have local to us, guys, we like them for certain things, but their beef that we, we consume a lot of is uh, grain-fed. Yeah, we just found that out. <laughs> yeah, so we're uh, trying to get grass-fed or, uh, you know, something that's a bit more healthier for us. Leaner. Yeah, leaner. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we found some of those. We're going to check some of those out today. I don't know if I'll record those, but we have something else we're heading to right now. So I guess you guys will stick around and see that in the next clip. And then we'll see what else we get into huh, today, TQ. Yep, let's That's see. Out. All right, guys. So we're here at Winfield Power Equipment down in Strasburg, Ohio. Uh, main reason we came here is to check out this bad boy. It's the Walker. Super nice mower. We were highly interested in this mower, but we're wanting to get it with the dump attachment. I thought it actually was a model, but it's actually an attachment you can get put onto it so that it can lift up and dump. Uh, so for the uh, dump insert in a truck whenever we go that route. But uh, they also carry Hustler down here. Plenty of walkers. Beautiful dealership. They're also uh, owner operators. They have their own lawn care, landscaping, snow removal, all that stuff. Uh, carry Husqvarna, like I said, Hustler. I didn't even know Hustler tilted like that. I thought only Walker did that. Beautiful commercial line of Husqvarna mowers in here also. They have the larger Hustlers down here, you know, like the X1, Fast Track, and then they have the big one, the Super Z here. That one flies. Big old Husqvarna here. And then they have the, the mean mowers here, I like to call them the Steiner. This thing is an absolute tank. Look at that thing. Full wheel drive. Tell you what, you can knock some stuff out with that. All the Husqvarna chainsaws. They got some battery operated stuff down here. Trimmers. Beautiful, beautiful mowers. I love these things, guys. Look at all the different attachments. I mean, all the different attachments. And if you just had one main unit, you could buy all the attachments separate if you have the job swarm. They got the auto mowers or robo mowers, people call them, all the trimmers back there. Yeah, super, super nice parts. Beautiful place. Uh, the lady here actually told me they started off with their lawn care landscaping, and then as it grew and grew, her and her husband expanded into the dealership side of things, so that's awesome to hear. Uh, I thank her for her hospitality. She gave us a lot of good information on this bad boy here, the walker. What do you think, TQ? I think I want to test drive it. I think you want to test drive it? Yeah. What do you think about the handles right there between your legs? It's going to be something to get used to for sure. For sure. What do you guys think about the walkers? Let me know in the comments. Also, guys, let me know what you think of this beautiful dealership here. Once again, it's Winfield. We're in Strasburg, Ohio. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so walking out of Winfield here, absolutely beautiful. I didn't notice out there, but I did notice when we pulled in. They also carry Meyer plows. Uh, so they're mainly a, a Steiner, Walker, Husqvarna. Got some beautiful plows down here. There's their logo there. Winfield. Winfield Power Equipment. Right off the road here. Right off the main road. If you come down Route uh, or 77 South, sorry, and get off the exit here in Strasburg, come back up. Like you're going towards the movie theater, I believe it is. It's up that way. You'll uh, run right into it. Beautiful, beautiful dealership. All right, so this is the one that Mitchell had the other day on his Instagram. Pretty darn cool. Do some chopping. Tell you what, our Rural King here has tons of steel product, but they no longer have Echo here. They got rid of Echo. They uh, replaced it with a little bit of Husqvarna stuff. That's crazy. This wasn't, uh, they did have Echo in here, so... Got your curved shafts, you got your straight shafts. Go figure, the trimmer queen will come to where the trimmers are. Hey, that's a nice uh, brush and Don dish soap. 
Yeah, I gotta get an oil stain out of someone's pants. Well, I won't talk about that. I told you not to wear your good pants to do an oil change. <laughs> How much is their big spool? 49 50 bucks. Yeah, I get that cheaper. <laughs> Just saying. All the attachments for the combis. Edgers. Pressure washer, huh? What engine's on that one? It's a Kohler. Kohler. <laughs> There's a CL800. Yep. Chainsaws. Man, I'll tell you what, they have a lot of their spring stuff out already, guys. Not just back here, but like in the store in general. Okay, like, do they? <laughs> Are they still? Yep. All right, so back over here, this is where they have the Husqvarna stuff. Not much. I think that was kind of cool. If any of you guys check those out, it's the patent pending ergo split. So I'm assuming you drop a log down in here, and yes, something like that. You hit it. Kind of seems weird, but yeah, they got three different Husqvarna's, Troy built, and a bunch more stills. <laughs> Craziness. I think still took Echo out over here in That's Rural King. Oh yeah, let's check that out. There's an ATV mower lift, guys. 300 pounds. 300 pounds, that's not gonna be enough, is it? You don't think? For a lawnmower? I don't know. I mean, it is it only lift in the front. front yeah. I don't know. Stop for a real quick lunch. What do we got here, TQ? Wings. Wings? And more wings. Just plain Jane wings, guys. No breading, just cook the skin. And then you get sauces. sauces. We got some ranch over there. Unsweet tea, water with lemon. Pretty darn healthy for being at Bubby BW3, not Bubby's. <laughs> at BW3's. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're gonna have a little bit of grease in here, but you know we would generally air fry these at home. But yeah, you gotta treat yourself and go out every now and then, right? Yeah, it looks good. I'm starving. Yep. And then we gotta get home and get ready because of something, something's on its way. So we backed up into this area because within the next couple days we're supposed to get Sounds not not so much snow. I like the news was calling it like a sleet rain type deal, and it's going to get really cold. So we need to. For the high guy. Yeah, it's not plowable, but it's salt. It's going to be saltable. If that is sounds right. 36, 34, and it's supposed to stay like this through the night, and then drop off tomorrow. And then it's supposed to kind of take off, but I don't want to be out here doing this whenever it's freezing cold. Yeah, I mean, it's still cold, but it can get colder. Right. So we're going to go ahead and get loaded up and get prepared for right. the it's, next four or five days. It's going to start raining, and that's another thing. We don't want to do it in the rain either. Yeah. So, do a little preparation and be ready, right? That's right. I can't believe this is only the third third skid we bought this year. I think we only bought two. Is this only two? Yeah, because we had some left over from last year. But third skid in general. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Because I had a full skid from last year. Yeah. But still, guys, at this point last year, I think we were probably, we had to have been 12, 15 skids. Assuming. I know we made a... We've made a lot less money this year yeah. compared to last year. Yeah, we have. Here, TQ, catch! Just kidding. <laughs> Think fast, right? Hey, guys, before we forget, too, our daughter made the travel ball team, guys. Yes, I'm super, super proud. Yeah. All right, so we got everything hooked up. TQ's gonna go ahead and click it on here to make sure we got good electrical. There it goes. One more time. Okay, babe. Click that in there. Good to go, good to go. Always, always check your electrical. Make sure you have a good connection before you ever put a drop of salt in here because the worst thing ever is filling this thing up with 800 pounds of salt and then you're digging it all back out by hand. 
to try to get this bad boy to run, especially if it's kicking breakers, uh, anything like fuses, not breakers, fuses, if it's kicking fuses, uh, that sucks because sometimes that auger in there, this does have the agitator in it, but uh, if that thing gets bound up, you're digging it all out by hand, and I've done it before with a Myers, and it sucks at 2 a.m., and you have 800 pounds of salt in there, and all you have is a shovel and a five-gallon bucket. She's getting pretty good at driving this big old truck, huh? Yeah. You like I, it, I don't you? I need my own truck now. You want your own F-250? Sure. F-350. Yeah. No, oh, sorry. okay. <laughs> With the diesel, too? You want the diesel? I don't like the smell of diesel. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, keep mowing. Keep growing. Keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQ out. Peace. Fingers crossed we actually get this weather. <laughs>